Hello there YouTube, Devin here again. Now I had a few people from the my Hungarian M70 Canteen video say they want to see the, the helmet in question uh, that caused the problems. And once again, it is an Israeli Orlite helmet. Um, as you can see, um, they have uh, a number of scuffs in the paint. Uh, this was, by the way, labeled as uh, completely new. Um, at least with this one, unlike the other one, they got the bolts lined up correctly. So uh, the other one, the bolts were off center even. Um, but it was labeled as completely new and it has scuffs in the paint, scratches, um, huge cracks through it. Here's a crack that's actually in the shell superstructure. Here's another crack in the shell superstructure they tried to cover with plaster. Um, here's another crack in the superstructure they tried to cover with plaster. Um, has extra holes filled with plaster in them. Um, there's one there, there's one there. Um, they're pretty much all over the helmet. Uh, there's one here in the back, there's an extra hole. Um, extra hole there, two extra holes. Um, it's just a major, major problem. And um, now, uh, for what you guys wanted to uh, kind of see, is this helmet is, I can actually like, I don't know if you could see it, but the whole helmet shell kind of like flexes and crushes uh, because of all these cracks in the superstructure. And that's not how Kevlar helmets are supposed to work. You're not supposed to be able to crush a Kevlar helmet with your bare fucking hands. Because you got... Damn, just... Okay. The people that made this helmet, the helmet factory that made it is Hagor. Hagor, so that's H-A-G-O-R. Uh, it's an Israeli company. Made this helmet. Okay. This helmet, both the helmets were made by Hagor. Um, this, uh, both helmets I bought, uh, were from, uh, Zahal, which is Z-A-H-A-L dot org. Um, their customer service the first time was actually pretty nice. Um, I was a little bit upset when they sold me a faulty helmet because they didn't check it before they sent it. And then they offered me 10%, uh, back on the first one. This is a... $298 helmet, so I would have got like 30 bucks back. That's what they offered me. Um, kind of a, I don't mean to be rude here, or kind of racist sounding, not trying to be, but that's really a new expression to trying to juice somebody out of their money. They sent me something that was obviously faulty. I, I couldn't even use it. It was so faulty. Um, and then they offered me 10% on it. And I thought that was just appalling. And then uh, the second time, the, they they offered me like a $60 helmet cover or a $60 refund or I could return it and they would refund the shipping. So that's a little bit better, um, but not by much. $60 on a $300 helmet is not that great. So, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't too excited about it and uh, but I'm gonna return this helmet now they have assured me that um, they have sent all of their helmets back they've gone through all of them now this is the second time I've complained and I emailed them pictures like the proof of all this stuff and everything like that this is the and they they said they're going to return all of them the whole batch to the factory and get a better batch they've complained to Hagor a couple times about it now whether they've actually done that or not I don't know um, but they, they have told me that's what they're going to do. So, um, figured I'd let you guys know this, um, so that you can, um, possibly be wary when you're buying stuff from them. Uh, this is the only product I, I bought stuff from them a number of times. Um, but this is the, the only product I've had from them that was faulty. And it was two of the same product. So I think it has something to do with the manufacturer. It's not really the company uh, selling it. So it's not really Zahal, but it's really the manufacturer that's doing this. But Zahal also needs to be held responsible because they didn't, they don't have the quality control checks before it leaves shipping. So that's that's a problem. So I figured I'd let you guys know this video. I'd like to get your opinions on it. You really don't need to... Um, go to them with angry messages or anything like that because they we did eventually work something out but i was but but still this is kind of outrageous as you can see the huge the huge flaws in this helmet the superstructure even uh everything's filled with plaster extra holes are filled with plaster this is this is appalling 
this helmet would probably barely hold water if it didn't have paint on it. So it wouldn't serve as a bucket if it didn't have paint on it and plaster hold, covering all the holes and cracks. So I'm not too happy with this product. Um, feel free to complain to Hagor, though, all you want, but I don't think Zahal really needs needs a problem here, needs any complaints. But if you can get a hold of Hagor, please let them know that their product is horseshit. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, I plan on doing a few more videos today while my girlfriend's off at her band concert. Um, so, for college there. Uh, since I got some time. So, uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want any more information on this helmet or anything like that, uh, or anything at all, uh, please leave that in the comments. Um, if you actually have a good condition Kevlar or light that you would like to send me in size medium, I would happily pay you for it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye.